in some cases, you might have to add a couple feet of wire to an existing 25 foot lead in order to reach into a splice location. In this instance, I have a bullet light that has a 25 foot lead on it, but I need about an extra 10 foot to reach into a splice location so it's not one fixture sitting off on its own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of 16 two wire, okay, that I keep extras on my truck. Um, this piece is about 10 foot long, all right? So what I'm gonna do is when I join this, it's gonna make that fixture a 35 foot lead which some of our larger fixtures come with a 35 foot lead. So this doesn't make much of a difference when you're talking about the voltage drop through the lead wire. First, what I do is I splice my ends or I trim my ends up so I have a nice about quarter inch connection. Then I take a piece of heat shrink tubing and I slide the heat shrink tubing on one side of the wire connection because later I'm gonna slide this back and we're gonna heat that on there. Next, I'm gonna take a butt connector and I'm gonna slide the butt connector down and over, okay? Let me trim a little off here. Okay, this is my butt connector. Make sure you use the right size butt connector for the right size wire. Now I'm gonna take my non-insulated crimper and I'm gonna crimp that connection and now I have my butt connector on one side. And I'm gonna repeat that for my other wire. Again, this is a non-insulated butt connector so I'm using the non-insulated crimper. Now that I have this one side butt connector and I have my heat shrink on there, I'm gonna join the other end by simply sliding it. Make sure all the wires are, again are inside the butt connector. Again, crimping down tightly. Nice tug, that's a nice clean connection now. This one's gonna need a little trimming. Sliding all the wires, making sure all the strands get inside. Now, make a nice tug, make sure those wires don't pull out. I slide my heat shrink tubing over the butt connectors, protecting them from the elements. And then, I'm just gonna simply, you can take either a heat gun or a lighter. In this case, I'm gonna use a little lighter and I'm gonna heat up the heat shrinking until it seals itself completely around the wire. It works better with the Zippo, probably. And now, this is almost finished. Now, we have a nice, tight, straight connection. I've added an extra 10 foot of lead onto my wire, and now I can take this and get the end of this wire into the splice location that I need to.